Hey, so it is Saturday again, and welcome to my jam session. It is Jao Sure, and we are steadily moving along down the road of the solar cycles. And we have just moved into a major period in the summer. We are now at Shatsu, and Shatsu is the summer solstice. The daytime is the longest, and the nighttime is the shortest of the year. So we just moved into it today, and we are ready and poised to now feel the effects of the rest of the height of summer. So as we move through the solar cycles, we are now in the fourth part of summer, or we're in summer two, the first part of summer two, and we have moved through Li Sha, Xiaoman, Manzong, and now since we are in the period of the summer solstice, this is now when the West actually has the official start of summer, but we have been feeling the effects of the planet getting warmer and warmer and warmer. And we are moving into our blood circulation changing, our pores changing, and allowing our bodies to experience summer. And obviously, this is on the this side of the planet in the northern hemisphere where we're experiencing it. So as we move from yesterday on the 21st, we're now here and we should be feeling what? Just a little bit warmer. And as we're experiencing those things, now what do we do? We're constantly observing the changes in temperature. That's the easiest way to see what is happening to our bodies. So as we here in Orlando have been experiencing 90 degree weather and 88, and 88 degree weather, you can see that from the 25th till now, we're experiencing 93 and 90s and 96 and 88 as the highs. But today we're only gonna experience 87 which is rare because New York is actually going to be warmer there than here. So our high is 87 here, but in New York, it's going to be 97, which just a few weeks ago was at 78, then 82, then 80, 80 respectively. Now we're going to have some closer to Abu Dhabi weather in New York. Because Abu Dhabi is usually at 97, 111, 106, 106, and 110. So as we move through and we're feeling the highs, and then now also we're experiencing the lows at night, we're experiencing in the mid or low to mid 70s here in Orlando, 73, 72, 76, 76 and 74 respectively as of tonight, then we will begin to now experience that what? That summer weather and that summer weather where shots will be in effect. We'll start to feel how that makes us feel. Now, where are we? We're in Central Florida. And that is synonymous with Southern China. And that is from the 29th to the 31st latitude. And as that moves through the globe, we can see that it goes from places like Wuhan and Sichuan and going all the way through Cairo over to us here in Florida in places like what? Orlando, which is the 29th parallel is just north of us. 
then the land and St. Augustine and in Brunswick, Georgia. Now, as we're experiencing these particular conditions, these conditions are moving back and forth as we are experiencing them through the summer. Why do I say back and forth? Because as the planet is moving back and forth and we're seeing the ebb and flow of the planetary changes, we're now experiencing the furthest away from the sun. And then now we're getting hotter. As we get tilt towards the sun, it gets colder and we're in our winter. So as this, the planet moves back and forth and we begin to go through the seasons, we feel the planetary changes. Now, as we see these particular things happen, we can see that in the southern hemisphere of China, and then we can also see that in the northern hemisphere of China and places like Beijing or Xi'an, are synonymous with Philadelphia and Charlotte and Albuquerque or Denver. And we can see that these particular weather patterns and changes actually affect all of us. So as it affects us, we begin to see that in the circular movement of things, we can see where we are, when the fourth of the sixth of the solar cycles. Moving here today in the 22nd of June, we can see that the summer solstice is upon us. And what we can start feeling is the warmer temperatures coming because in the next phases, we will have the minor heat and the major heat. So according to the Chinese calendar, this is the actual last portion of summer heat, but I should say the heat portion of summer. So as we get warmer and warmer from the first to the fourth, that is the heat portion. The last two we call summer heat. That is the humid days or the dog days of summer where it gets really humid and hot and we can actually feel the heat of summer. So it's always much warmer in the minor heat period and the major heat period. But now back to the solstice. So now that we're in the solstice period, what can we do to now make the changes subtly and steadily in our bodies so that we can move forward gradually having small wins become big wins over time? So if we're a young body type, we're now going to use long on. And if we're a yin belly type, then we can use golden melon. Now, these particular fruits you can find in the summertime in your uh, local Asian grocery store. And typically they'll have them fresh and ready. And this is a summer fruit. And this is a great tasty summer fruit. And you'll see it because of its leathery type skin. And when you open it up, it's like a grape. Now, what am I talking about? Long on. Long on is a very tasty fruit. And it is a very unique looking fruit because it has a rather tough skin on the outside. And it protects the juicy center fruit on the inside with a nice uh, big seed. So long in Chinese means dragon, and an is the eye, like the dragon eyeball. So this is how they nickname this particular fruit, the dragon's eyeball. So what does it do? It actually tonifies and augments the heart and the spleen. Now, why would that be important for this time of year? Well, the heart in Chinese medicine, according to the five phases, is related to the fire principle. The fire principle is based on and related to heat or summer. Then we have the earth principle. The earth principle is based on the spleen or the spleen and pancreas, and it's related to humidity. 
So that was my lead in to help you guys understand that as we're moving into the hot part of the summer and then the summer heat portion where there's the humidity, you want to now be prepared to transition into those phases of summer. So that's a great reason why we can do, if we're a yang type, long on fruit. Long on fruit is a treetop fruit, and this will help nurture and prepare your body for the heat and the summer heat, tonifying, augmenting the heat portion of the summer and the humid portion or the summer heat portion of the summer. So when we get hot, what happens? We start to perspire more. We start to actually utilize the blood more because the heart has to pump more to use the blood as a cooling fluid like radiator fluid and begin to make sure that the body doesn't overheat. So then now the blood gets worn out just like our radiator fluid gets worn out. So lung on not only tonifies and augments the heart and the spleen, but it can also nurture and nourish the blood and make the blood new and renewed. Like when we change out the radiator fluid and the radiator fluid, when it gets old, it gets dull and kind of like a pale green. Then when you put in new radiator fluid, it looks bold and it looks bright and it looks fresh and renewed. So when your body is using long on energy, it can now nurture the blood and refresh itself. Now, because of that, when your body is actually active and utilizing all kinds of fruits to now cool it down because fruits have hydration, but then now what happens? Your body is active and in that sympathetic mode and where it's really, really active and it can get so much so that your body is now too active. And so what do we want to do when we're too active? We want to calm our body down and recenter and refocus. This is why long on is great when we say calm the spirit, calm the body when it's too active, when that heat of the summer is up, we have things where we can get irritability, tempers can flare. Well, guess what? If you're now calm and centered and focused, you can still be calm on our local highway, I-4. And when somebody cuts you off, you don't have to flip them off. <laughs> so that now you can be centered and focused and help yourself keep your spirits calm. So now what are we going to do for the yin people, we're going to use some golden melon, a yin fruit that looks a lot like cantaloupe, has the seeds like it, but it has a different exterior, more of a smooth exterior. And that golden melon you can also find in Chinese groceries at this time of year. And what does it do? It clears the heat. We're in the heat portion, the summer solstice portion of the summer, quenches thirst, helps now develop and promote our body's ability to manufacture fluid. Then here we go. We're moving into the humid portion of the summer in the next solar cycle. So we're preparing ourselves to relieve the summer heat problems. So it's better to prepare than to do what? Cure. So an ounce of prevention relieves a pound of cure. So now let's prepare for the summer heat and start getting our golden melon in so our bodies are already prepared to move into the hot portion or the humid portion of the season. So now when you're at the point where your body is too hot, things are racing and things are elevated, the heat rises in the body. So now your urination would be what? 
scanty because you get dehydrated, your body is not moving very well inside. So promoting the fluid of the body by quenching the thirst, clearing the heat, relieving the summer heat, it'll actually facilitate your body's ability to easily clear itself out of any toxins, any heat toxins by doing what? Allowing the urination to flow and the water to circulate. So now that we have these two different types of fruit, we can now incorporate this into our bodies if we're a yang type or a yin type. So now let's see if we're having any questions this week. So let's take a look. It looks like we have no questions this week. So continue to uh, benefit from the different aspects of what we're offering here. Add our jam session every two weeks. I'm Zhao Shur. And I will see you all next time. And remember, I have opened up again into private practice. We have a Cocoa Beach practice and a Daytona Beach practice. And my practice name is Affordable Asian Medicine. And we're a complete membership practice. So you can look into details on our website at affordableasianmedicine.org. So I will see you all next time.